Hello and welcome. Happy holidays. I hope you guys all had a great Christmas. This is actually a video, just a compilation of things that I wanted to get done before the holidays. I had some time as the majority of my family was away in the mountains. It was just me and my toddler. So I just tried to get as much done as possible. This is just one of those tasks that I got done while they were gone. The rest of the tasks will have taken place over like the following week, just whenever I could squeeze them in. Uh, so you'll see various kids throughout. Um, yeah, so this couch, I can't remember what it was that made me realize it was completely filthy under the cushions. I may have been getting ready for, no, not Thanksgiving. I just can't recall. Uh, it was something and I lifted up a couch cushion. I think maybe I was just looking for something and I could not believe how gross it was under the cushions. And my husband was just like, don't think about it right now. Don't, because we didn't have time at that time to like do anything about it. So I thought, well, with the family away, why don't I tackle this and get it done? I wasn't going to take these covers off it necessarily and they are deteriorating. I needed to get a new one. I have gotten a new one um, before I even started this. I went online and went and ordered one. It didn't get in until, I don't know, five days later I chose the no rush shipping because I like getting the digital credits for um, books for myself, for Kindle books through Amazon. So I did get a new cover and um, you won't see me put the new one on. You won't even see me put the old one on. I washed it and did put it back on. But uh, when I went to go put it back on, I had set up my camera and the tripod. It was later that evening and my sweet toddler ran by it. It was my fault. I shouldn't have left it out. She knocked it over and my camera is now broken. So part of this video is on my regular camera and the rest of it's going to be from my phone. So that happened and I'm still working through what to do with that camera if I should go take it in to get it repaired or I don't know if it can be repaired and there aren't really shops nearby that do that around me so I'm still trying to figure that one out because that was quite an investment to uh, have break on me. Anyhow, this couch has actually been with me since I want to say almost 20 years, if not 20 years now. I bought it myself. I was very proud of this purchase. Um, my first piece of furniture I ever bought was actually a dining room table set. It looks like it came right out of the 1950s. It's a circular table with uh, four chairs and it had pink vinyl. Pink is my favorite color. So I saw this in a store on Main Street back in my hometown and I just knew I wanted it. So my parents were <laughs> gracious enough because I was a teenager at the time to let me store it in one of their storage things they had outside. So that was my first piece of furniture I ever bought and then this couch was the next thing I may have been in college, early college when I got it. And I actually had it stored in my childhood room um, from the house I grew up in. And then once I finally moved out of that, it's come with me everywhere I've gone. So it is quite old. We would love to replace it at some point. Uh, not sure when that's going to be. We're still kind of figuring out the even though we've been in this house for over 13 years now, we're still figuring out where to put things like placement wise in this particular room that I'm in. I mean, it was only three years ago, we finally got a couch large enough for our entire family in our other living space area. Uh, so it just takes us a while <laughs> to figure things out and do it. And it works well enough for us. So uh, but we're gonna keep it until we don't, I guess. Um, it may actually end up going upstairs into our son's room once we convert we move we have to move things around so he can have a space of his own um, and so it may go under a bunk bed for him to have a little extra seating space and what the room he's going to end up in so how was your christmas did you guys have a relaxed enjoyable time Mine was fairly relaxed once the day finally came around. However, I'm fighting a cold, I still am. And that day ended up being one of the worst days of the cold for me. That night, 
uh, leading into it, I my throat hurt so bad, like I couldn't even swallow without it being excruciating pain. I was really wondering how I was even going to just drink water the next day. And thankfully, um, after sleeping for a number of hours after waking up with that feeling, it um, was a lot better. And I just took it really easy that day. Are you guys people who just kind of take it easy, stay in pajamas the whole day, or do you go out? Do you visit family on Christmas day, or do you prepare a big meal? I am not into preparing big meals. Go see me! <laughs> They're too bright! Super... Go that way! <laughs> Don't spray me! I don't want to be a me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, I'm going to move back. Yeah, don't spray your face. Okay. Okay. Oh, not teddy bear face. Yeah, not teddy bear face. I mean, okay. Oops. No. He's a young girl. Oops. Not the game. I've been gone. All right, wipe it down. Here you go. Not on the windows, please. I'm cream bangles. Okay. Not the windows, please. Go all over it. Yeah. Clean it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Just like that. Okay. I cut myself off on my own audio. I wasn't watching the video um, and didn't even realize that I had kept all those clips in with my sweet baby girl talking. I just couldn't leave that out. I just thought it was so cute what she was saying and how she was trying so hard to help me and um, I just wanted to share that with you. So to, to continue where we left off, I was talking about meals and making big meals and I was going to give you my opinion for myself. For me, that is not enjoyable. So I... I particularly love breakfast food. So I will do a bigger breakfast and then I put out like cheese and meat and crackers and things for fruits and veggies that people can nibble on and call it good at that. And people just kind of graze throughout the day. I don't do a big dinner. I've done that in the past and I just find that's not how I want to spend my Christmas is in the kitchen doing the meal and especially cleaning up after it. So I don't do that. If you saw my wrap with me videos, you may be wondering why on earth I am wrapping more presents. Well, there were some gifts that just didn't arrive in time for when I did that video. And this one in particular was actually a shopping cart that I originally got a different brand of. And I shared that in what I got my kids for Christmas video. I originally got the Melissa and Doug one, which was made all out of metal. Super, super cute. Very highly rated. But um, when my husband took it out of the box, because I asked him to put it together, he was realizing that it would probably bang up our house a lot. And our kids already bang up our house a lot. And he has had to patch up holes in the walls more often than he would like. And so to have another thing that's potentially going to do that um, just wasn't something we wanted to do. So this was my second like pick uh, as far as the shopping carts went, the one I, I ended up getting. It's a plastic one. It actually matches, uh, we call it her little kitchen. We have this, it's a little kitchen, you know, for kids. And it's the same pink, blue, green, whatever colors they are. It matches it really well. It's not super big, which the other one definitely was bigger. And for our house size, it um, fits better. So that's what I ended up getting her. Right here, I'm actually showing you gifts that I, I more gifts. The first two were things that I bought for my husband. Um, hot sauces, hot, hot sauces. He really enjoys those um, and having a variety of ones to 
try this one from Hell's Kitchen. He looked at it, hasn't tried them yet, but he said the flavors sound really interesting. I just picked that up picked that up at Walmart. Same with that dynamite hot sauce. Um, it just looked fun because it was in a dynamite container. My kids are really into Minecraft. And so it kind of went along with that too. Um, and then I got each of them a tube of light sticks uh, for their stockings. And I just picked those up at the Dollar Tree. And those are actually pretty, pretty good quality for Dollar Tree things. And then those two Lego kits, one I've had in storage as a potential gift for a while. I got a bunch of stuff on a really good deal from, I can't even remember the website, years ago though. And so it was, it was a really inexpensive thing and I just thought I'm going to have this on hand as a potential gift. And I was short, if you will, something for my son's stocking. I was still on the hunt for something for him um, when I filmed all my other videos. And so I got that, but then we were at Aldi and I found that Minecraft Lego set and I just figured we'll just give them both of those. That'll be good for him. So I can't think if I showed you anything else. The big gift I got for my husband was actually a subscription to Finder Seekers. It is an at-home escape room uh, experience. And so they send you a box every month, depending on what subscription you signed up for. I ended up getting the six month one because, and they get you with this I think, is that that is the lowest subscription you can get and have shipping included in the price instead of having to pay shipping for every single box you get. Because you could do it monthly or you could do it by I think three months and then it's six months and then it may have been annual after that. Um, so the six month one is where you start to get the free shipping. You also get a slight discount um, per box. The, the per box price is slightly discounted. So I'm hoping that that um, he really enjoys it. I was thinking it as either something we do together as a family or even on a date night for him and I. And so I've gotten the first two boxes of that in the mail. And so we have a few more to come. And yeah, I hope it, I hope it turns out good. The other thing that I didn't show here that I eventually wrapped because there was more after this in the days to come, I just didn't <laughs> do it for you, was um, we got a Groupon for a escape room in our area that we're gonna take all the older kids to. So we actually had that set up for New Year's Eve. So we're excited to get to do that with them. We've done one other escape room with them and they really, really enjoyed it. So we're looking forward to this one and hopefully it's just as enjoyable, if not more, it's at a different location than the previous one we did. And, uh, they're all very much so looking forward to it. I am too. This will be my third time doing an escape room. And uh, I'm hopeful that we don't need too many hints or clues and we can make it out. All right, so another day. And I don't know if you guys have noticed a trend um, besides the fact that my hair is just a mess in all of these videos, but or all these clips, but I have something different in my hair every single day. And that is, again, thanks to my toddler who loves dress up and having mommy participate in dress up. So if you're curious about that, uh, that, that is where that comes from. Could you guys keep track of all the different things that I had going on? <laughs> if, if you did, leave it in the comments below. Right here I'm just uh, labeling Christmas cards. This is something that I debate. Should I do this each year or not, especially as postage increases? so much it's getting so expensive to send them but it's in some ways the only way i keep in contact with certain people and i really really enjoy receiving them from others i hope they enjoy receiving them from me as well uh, i don't know but i really enjoy it so i'm for now i'm continuing to do it and i managed to squeeze in labeling all these uh, while I was actually homeschooling some of the kids. So that worked out pretty well because it was a pretty mindless thing to do while I was, I think, doing language arts with my two oldest girls. And then the last thing that at least I'm sharing with you for my last minute Christmas prep was actually creating ornaments out of pictures that we took of the kids. We have not really taken professional pictures of our family other than after a child has been born. We'll go do that. Like at Sears or JC Penney's or wherever it is we can get a good deal like that. I have always wanted to and I love seeing other people's um, 
the pictures, you know, that people do out in the forest or at the beach or different places like that with the photographer. I just have never felt like we've had it in our budget to do that because in my head it's a very expensive thing and I, I need to bite the bullet and just do it sometime and um, maybe next year we will. But so far, we just take pictures of all the kids at home. And that is actually a gift that we give to my parents and my in-laws and some um, aunts. Uh, we give them pictures of the kids. And uh, then out of a group picture of the kids, that's what goes on the Christmas card. Um, sometimes a family picture, sometimes just the kids, sometimes individual pictures of the kids. But then I also make one of the individual, not the individual, one of the group pictures of the kids, I turn that into an ornament and then I also turn a family picture into an ornament. I have a video explaining exactly how I do this on my channel. I made it a few years ago, so I'm not gonna rehash how I do all that, but I am trying to show you some of the things that I do. So if you're interested in that, I will put a link to that video down below so you can check it out because I go step by step through there. But I, it's, it's, it's not hard to make them. It's just time consuming. And I was waiting for the pictures to get delivered. I buy them at Costco. Um, I used to always purchase my photos at Costco when they actually had a photo center in the store. And then a couple years ago, they decided to no longer do that. So I still buy them online, but now I have to wait for them to get shipped to me. And so it's kind of a waiting game. When are they going to arrive? Are they going to arrive in time? Because my family, my side of the family, does a get together. And so I like to have, like a week before Christmas, I like to have these to give to them as a gift. So I believe this is actually the day before our get together and I'm trying to get these made. I normally like to have more drying time in between um, when I apply the Mod Podge. Uh, I typically do two layers of it and I like to like let it dry overnight if I can or at least a number of hours and then the final drying is overnight before I wrap them because the wrapping paper does tend to stick to these. This year I tried putting saran wrap over it and then wrapping it and I don't know if it just wasn't dried enough when I did that or if it would do this even if I did have more time for it to dry but it did kind of make some creases in the picture like the the mod podge as it's dried it kind of made some creases in it that aren't normally there because it'll look very streaky in a minute i think or no i don't even think i show you that in this one go watch the other video if you're curious and but it dries completely clear and if you're you know fairly careful with your brush strokes i always try to go the same direction if you you see that here and it turns out great and it's 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 a nice protective coating on it anyways not sure exactly where i'm going with this but i tried something new i'm not going to do that again if the wrapping paper gets stuck to the the ornament it actually comes off really easily with a damp paper towel you just kind of gently rub it and it comes off so it's not a big deal to do it that way i was just kind of hoping that it wouldn't have it at all and here i'm showing you the finished product at least as far as these have dried it's probably the next day i believe and i am going to be putting in the twine that i use to be able to hang it and then this year i have these decals so i've had them for years but i don't normally use them and this year i decided i was going to use them and i think they turned out really cute with them so uh that was nice to get to use up some and also make them look a little different than ones in the past have looked. In the end, these turned out great. They do every year. Like I said, they're pretty simple. They just take some time to put together. I'm glad I do them every year because that is absolutely my favorite ornament that we have on our tree is just a progression of these pictures of our kids and getting to look at them and see how they've grown over the years and even see how one a younger child looks so much like another child, you know, when they were the same age. It's just really neat to get to see all the pictures side by side like that on the tree. So it's something really sp special. And in the end, I'm really, really glad that I put in the effort and do it each year. And I know it's a nice gift that our relatives, who I give them to, enjoy it as well. Well, this is pretty much wrapping up the video right here. 
Um, and I hope you guys, like I said, had a great Christmas. I hope your New Year's is also going to be wonderful that you get to spend it how you would like to spend it. I thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me as I got these last minute tasks done and I will see you in the new year. Bye.